right, welcome to a video lecture on populations. Uh, this is ecology learning target number four. And the learning target, the thing that you're going to be expected to understand at the end of this video lecture and that we'll be practicing in class is your, you would need to be able to describe carrying capacity and how the environmental factors and organism interactions affect the carrying capacity of an ecosystem. You would need to be able to predict populations changes based on these factors. So we're going to go through the basics right now of what a population is and what carrying capacity is, how to calculate it, and then how carrying capacity can be changed. So first off, I'd like to define what a population is. Population is a group of living things, all of the same species. That is one of the keys that must be in a good definition of a population. And they all must live in a certain area. So for instance, these animals right here in this picture are wildebeest on the plains of Africa. They're all the same species, and they're all in a certain area. This makes them all a population. Here in this picture, this is from northern Minnesota. This is a picture on a lake. These trees right here are all the same species, white pine, Pinus strobus. They are, just because they're plants doesn't mean they don't have populations. Plants have populations too, so this is a population of pine trees. And if this is a little bit of an island right here, so you could say the population on this island if it was a certain area. And here we have a group of wood ducks. And if these were all of the wood ducks that lived in a specific area, then this would be the population of wood ducks. So it must be the same species living in a certain area. Now at this point you guys should have your notebooks out and you should be writing down some information in your notebooks. Um, you have a notes page that looks like this and if you don't have a notes page that looks like this, make one right now in your notebook. You'll need notice some questions along this column. That's where you should be taking your notes. Right now you know what a population is so you should have written in here the definition of a population. And we're going to answer next what causes a population to change. You'll write that information in here, maybe draw some arrows to the graph. Then you'll describe what the carrying capacity is, maybe draw some lines on the graph, and finally what affects carrying capacity. Population change. Population changes as a result of uh, four different factors. Here is a graph showing the population change. You should have this in your notes of ruffed grouse, this bird up here. And this is the rough grouse population from 1948 to 2008. Uh, it's actually the harvest levels, the number that were killed by hunters, but it roughly approximates how many birds there are in the environment because the higher the number of birds, the more that were killed, would be killed. So what affects population? Well, first of all, births. The more births you have, the greater the population. There's another thing which can add to the population. It's called immigration. Immigration is movement into a population. So ruffed grouse levels can increase if ruffed grouse from a different area move into their area. That's what causes population growth here, 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 here. So then what accounts for population declines that we see here, 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 anywhere the population goes down? Well, death rate can affect population. So the number of deaths increasing will cause the population to go down, or emigration, movement out of a population. So emigration and immigration are probably the words that might you know, require a little bit of thought on your part. This word in particular, emigration, is not a word we're used to using. Most of us know what an immigrant is or immigration, but emigration is a different idea. So population change continued. Some more information about this. If you want to know what makes a population grow, then any time the, the birth rate and the immigration rate is greater than, this little symbol here means greater than, the death rate and emigration, then the population will grow. Populations decline or go down when the birth rate and immigration are less than the death rate and emigration. So that gives you an idea of what makes a population go up or down, and you will be asked questions where you'll have given, be given an example and have to describe what would happen to the population. We'll practice that in class. You should have these definitions in your notes, and you should know what makes a population go up or down. Okay, so you should have been writing some notes in this section right here, what causes a population to change, and now we're going to talk about carrying capacity. 
Here's another graph of population. This is a mule deer population between 1978 and 2000. This is from Texas. And the carrying capacity is this. Carrying capacity is defined as the maximum population size an environment can support for an extended period of time. You can think of it like an average. So on this graph, I'd like you to try to figure out two carrying capacities. What was the carrying capacity between 1978 and 1993? And then between 1993 and 2001. They are different carrying capacities. And what we're looking for is the maximum size that can be supported for an extended period of time. Try that right now. Tell me what you think the carrying capacity would be. So between 1978 and 1993, the average would be something like this, meaning the carrying capacity here would be about 180,000 mule deer, okay? Because this is the number of deer here. Actually, this should be labeled this x-axis here, or sorry, the y-axis here. Then what about 93 to 01? Well, again, we're looking for the maximum that can be supported. So here is that average line and if we draw a line all the way over here we see that it is about 110,000 deer. So something happened to the carrying capacity and the population of deer declined as well as the maximum number that the environment can support. A really common misunderstanding with carrying capacity and how we calculate it because of the definition is that people think that this is the carrying capacity because this is the maximum number on the graph. Right? which would make the carrying capacity something like 22 or 2300. Um, the reason this isn't the carrying capacity is because the environment can't support that many. If it could, the population wouldn't go down when it reaches high levels like that. Every time the population gets up this high, it declines, meaning the environment can't support that many individuals. Okay? So the carrying capacity really is an average. That's what you want to be trying to calculate the average of all the ups and downs in a population. Then what changes carrying capacity? So we saw in the mule deer that the carrying capacity declined. There are things that cause carrying capacity to go down. Every ecosystem has them. They're called limiting factors. These are things which affect the size of a population in that ecosystem and they can change the carrying capacity. Some examples of limiting factors. Competition over resources, so competition with other animals that are like themselves, competition with other animals that use the same resources, the same food, water, shelter. Predation, so new predators will cause the population to decline. Parasitism and disease would cause a population decline, so a new parasite or a new disease would cause the maximum number that can be supported to go down. Natural uh, And likewise, if you remove a parasite or remove disease or if you remove predation, the population and the carrying capacity can go up. Um, natural disasters can limit and so can weather. And we have one more, which I didn't think about, but it just, I just thought of. Um, and that is the um, presence of invasive species. This is kind of a very sort of modern type of limiting factor that only humans really cause. But if you have invasive species, they will also cause the population to decline. In this case, the mule deer's carrying capacity, it declined because of a long-term drought. So this was an example of weather, a weather event that caused a decline in the carrying capacity because there was less food and it was harder for them to raise their young.